Hey folks, Kayak DIY here, and today we're going to take a look at something new from Pelican International. So Pelican International has been a heavy hitter here in the last year. They've been really coming out with some cool things and competitively priced. So they just recently came out with this new Catch Series Paddlecraft. You guys need to take a look at it. Let's dive in right now. Okay, so right now we're on Pelican International's Facebook page, and let's take a look at this new kayak. Catch Power 100. Wow. Okay, so let's take a little bit closer look at this Pelican Catch Power 100. Is it a kayak? Is it a bass boat? Don't really know, but it's cool. I like it. I'm just going to reference it as a kayak for the time being in this video. It comes in two colors. It is a 9 foot 9 inch long kayak. It is 38 inches wide. It has a total kayak capacity of 450 pounds and a user weight capacity of 300 pounds. It has an awesome swivel seat that does 360 degrees and you can even move the seat forward and backwards in these nice little track mounts. It has EVA decking foam and that foam also has a built-in ruler so you can measure your catch. It has everything pre-wired for a trolling motor. So you don't have to worry about doing any wiring. It's pre-wired. You just buy a battery, buy a motor, trolling motor, and you're good to go. It even has a little round hatch there in the front. So if you want to add something like lights or more wiring, you can. Uh, the kayak is designed to be easily rigged and it's designed to get you out on the water quickly. If you're going into skinny, shallow water, you can actually bring your trolling motor up and that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, you have Scotty low profile track mounts to be able to add uh, rod holders or a fish finder mount and the track mounts actually are also built into the handles that you see here which is another cool feature. We have a generous little cargo area in the back with four flush mount rod holders and more scupper drains for water to drain out. If we look on the underside of the kayak, we actually have a spot for a recessed transducer for our fish finder. So you can recess your transducer up into, up into the hull there. You have scupper plugs so that you can plug uh, the scupper water drains if you want, or you leave them open if it's in rough water. You have wheels in the back of the kayak, which is awesome. You can easily just wheel this down to the water. Don't worry about a kayak cart. Here it is out on the water and it looks like it has some pretty good stability and I would expect that since it's a tunnel hull design and it's 38 inches wide. So pretty cool and I'm really really excited to see this thing in person and try it out. So this really just didn't exist in the industry. Um, there were definitely bass boats but you can't really paddle a bass boat very well. This I think you could still paddle if you needed to and yet you can also motorize it. It holds up to a two and a half horsepower gas outboard or in this case they're using a 55 pound thrust trolling motor. I think you could easily get by with this thing using a 30 pound thrust trolling motor which would set you back about a hundred bucks for a Minn Kota C2 Endura 30. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did check out the links in the video description below. Give us a like and consider subscribing. Have a good day.